last team in the original dance, Natalia Romianuta and Daniil Baranasov of Russia. World Junior Champions in 2001. And the current standings right now, the Italians in a very strong lead. One thing I have to say about this couple is they have tremendous speed as they cover the ice. They're very aggressive. I have to say one of the fastest, if not the fastest, moving couple during practice and warm up. Very beautiful use of arms. Good unison. Those are called twizzles, turns on one foot. Their footwork didn't quite reach the end. It was a little slim towards the latter part. Nice extended line in the beginning of the dance spin, which must turn three times. They're breaking into another Astor Piazzolla tango. Susie, they're both 19 years old. Is that considered young in ice dancing? I think so. Well, when you look at Fusar Poli and Margaglio, who are in their mid-20s, they don't quite have that maturity when they look at one another. They sort of skate at each other, not quite understanding that relationship that takes time and maturity. But both are very skilled skaters, very sure-footed, very comfortable in their skates. They're very close in height. You notice that there's not a lot of height difference between them. Unfortunately, that acts a little bit as a distraction and limits them in their lifts and some of their movement. A solid performance. It was very secure. They're a nice, a nice couple. Their sixth season Natalia together. Romanuta and, Roma and Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Baranasov from Russia, two-time World Junior Champion. Third, they are first on the ice, two-time World Junior Champions, Natalia Romanuta and Daniel Baranasov. Exotica by Rene Dupere. One of the requirements, a dance spin. There are two to three dance spins allowed in the free dance. They must rotate at least three revolutions. in their form, their speed, and their approach to the requirements. In third, after the original dance, they have a great opportunity with the withdrawal of Kathy Winkler and Renee Losa of Germany to win their first Grand Prix medal. Footwork must move from corner to corner. They're very busy. The feet are always working, but they didn't quite finish the footwork. They separated right before they got to the wall.
work is actually quite difficult with the arm holes that they're using. They're just a little separated, skating a bit far apart here. See their hand to hand. That's considered less difficult than if they were closer together. Why do they have required elements in ice dancing? It makes it easier to judge. The judges, because it's such a subjective sport, there aren't jumps and spins to, to measure. It's like, it's like judging apples and oranges, so <laughs> this gives it a little more credibility as a sport. And that's all in theory, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> skaters they don't really send that emotion toward one another only 19 years old but what's a bit distracting is their physical the close closeness and height it's a bit of a distraction she's five foot eight he's five foot ten Ideally, if she were five to six inches shorter, they'd have more variety in their lifts, somewhat limited in what they're able to do. You need that at least in pair skating to be <laughs> successful. Not more, you're right. But it's unfortunate because they do some really wonderful things together. But see, the lifts are not going to have as much of an impact. Well, they skated this well. Everything was in its place. I enjoyed the emotion. Their speed is quite amazing. Natalia Romanuta and Daniil Baransov of Russia. They're the only team of the top Russian teams that actually train in their home country.